Lately, I've noticed that painting on denim has started to trend, so I thought that I'd give it a try. I sketched out what I wanted on my computer, just so that it's easier to storm, brainstorm. Um, I was originally sketching with pencil, but obviously you can't see anything, so I decided to switch to a micron pen. I didn't want to do this initially because I was afraid of messing up the sketch, which I did, but I find it's not that noticeable unless you look really closely at it. I mean, I can notice it, but it's okay, it doesn't matter. So I just pulled up the reference picture on my phone and started sketching out on my jacket the design that I wanted. Uh, you may see here that I'm sketching a lot of the details into the sketch as well. It's not that important to do this at this stage because I will cover the whole design in white to prime the jacket just so that later on when I add the color it will actually show up. I have painted on denim before uh, without adding that white base and it does make a difference so I just I do recommend you know if you are yourself wanting to do this to put a white base on the bottom um, on the sketch first. I wasn't too concerned with getting the sketch super accurate. I just kind of flubbed around with the pen <laughs> until I thought it looked nice. And so with that, the sketch layer is pretty much done. I added some extra little details, but again, you literally won't see them at all after you put the white base down. So it doesn't really matter. I was just doing this for fun. Just to get the general idea for later when I will uh, add detail. But with that being done, I took a picture so that all that work won't go to waste <laughs> and I can reference it later. And here I am just prepping for, prepping for the color later, adding the white now. Yeah. One thing I will say is that this acrylic white that I was using is a little thick so later on i did start to water it down just a tiny bit and it went on a lot smoother obviously because the fabric will soak up some of the paint <laughs> oh my god can't ignore that it's a lot like priming a canvas if you've ever done that with gesso where like the first layer won't go on as smooth and I just switched to a smaller brush to get into the the finer areas like the end of the tail and around the edges but I really didn't want to make the lines messy and an even smaller brush for the very end of the tail Yeah, this this white base is a little time consuming, but it's definitely super important. And you can't really skip out on the step if you want a nice clean finished product. It's very tedious. And I know a lot of people find it kind of boring. But to be honest, this is like probably my favorite part. I don't have to think about what I'm doing. I just gotta do it. You really had to soak up, saturate the brush to get the paint right onto the, the quote-unquote canvas because, as I said before, you know, the fabric soaks up a lot of the paint. 
And so that I finished uh, priming it. And at this time, it was 4.40 in the morning. It's time to go to bed. <laughs> so here's the next day. I'm just laying out the jacket again, making sure it's super flat. Uh, prepping all my materials. Uh, yep. The milky glaze at the bottom. It's not like wet paint, so I I can't really get rid of it. Yeah, and all all the paints that I use are acrylic. And here I'm trying to open the pot of paint, but it's really stuck. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I had to get a rubber band. Yeah. All of the paints that I use are acrylic. And uh, I also only use five colors. Red, white, blue, yellow, and black. I just... it's cheaper. <laughs> if you know how to mix your own colors. It's a lot cheaper. I find I like mixing colors anyway. It's a good skill to learn. Also, at this point, kind of realized it really, really looks like poop. <laughs> looks like a nice log of poop. And my mom is watching Chinese drama in the background. <laughs> yeah, and again, here I switched to a finer brush just so I could really get in the lines of the white. Um, if you if you are painting your own jacket and you go over the line a little bit as long as you're quick you can kind of like scrape away the the wet paint which is another example of why that white is so important because even even if you do mess up with the color like if there's no white base underneath it it's really hard to see it so yeah and here i'm just starting to add the darker details because i didn't really want to look at the poop snake any longer <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> to make this brown, I pretty much added red, yellow, and then the tiniest bit of blue. But for this darker color, it was that same mixture. I added a bit of brown. I mean, sorry, a bit of black. Just to make it darker. Yeah. My brother's playing games in the background. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to make brown, you pretty much add all the colors. You just want majority orange. And then I added a little bit of blue so it wasn't be too warm. Yeah. And here I realized I should have painted the other detail first. Because the red is a little hard to see on top of the brown. But that's okay. <laughs> yeah, and here I'm starting to paint out the intestines. When I was... Uh, Initially sketching this, I did have a reference picture of a snake dissection. So if you want to paint like, or if you want to draw kind of gory stuff, I think it is important to have references. I find dissections are very useful since they have all the detail. And here I'm just painting the yellow highlights, I guess. Yeah, the yellow highlight details of the snake, just to add more depth. And I added some more highlights, more details, highlights, everything, just to make the red stand out more. Uh, I painted the heart off screen, but it's literally just red. You don't need to see that. <laughs> yeah, I added even more definition to the kind of bones, I guess. I started to paint some, some lines on the stomach just to give it more depth so it wouldn't be so bland to look at and it would stand out a little bit more from the background of the snake and everything. And I added green to it as well because I thought, you know, it needed a little bit more color. It was still kind of blending in with all of its surroundings. I also did paint a lighter highlight on the snake, like the scales and stuff. I didn't film it because um, my camera was running out of space. 
at this point yeah so here i'm adding some shading to the intestines i'm using purple just to make it stand out even more from the stomach and uh finally i start to line the entire piece with a striping brush and black acrylic paint i know that some people oh my gosh <laughs> some people prefer using sharpie and honestly i would have done so as well but i don't own a working sharpie and i don't have any other like permanent marker pens <laughs> yeah it's just a lot of stuff going on in the background but i find that the acrylic paint goes on rather smooth if you have a nice brush and so after i finish painting it there's only one thing left to do and that's to get a good photo of it which for me was the hardest part Okay, that's it. Goodbye.